he hasn't done it in a long, long time, and he forgot how it goes. From this valley, they say you are leaving. We will miss your sweet face and your smile. Just remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy who loved you so true. Dan McGrew, and watching his luck was the love of his life, was the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was 50 below, and into the din and the glare, there stumbled a miner, fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in a grave, with scarcely the strength of a louse, yet he tilted his poke upon the bar and called for drinks for the house. There was none who could place the stranger's face, so we searched ourselves for a clue. So we drank to his health. But the last to drink was dangerous Stan McGrew. Then I got to thinking who he was and wondered what he'd do. When I turned my head and watching him was a lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering around the room and he seemed like in kind of a daze till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink. There was no one left on the stool. So the stranger stumbles across the room and flops himself down like a fool. In a buckskin shirt, all glazed with dirt, he sat and I saw him sway as he clutched the keys with his taloned hands. But God, how that man could play. 
Were you ever out in the great alone when the moon was awful clear? Where the icy mountains hemmed you in with a stillness you could almost hear? With only the howl of a timber wolf as you camped out in the cold, a half dead world in a stark dead place, clean mad for this thing that men call gold. While overhead, green, yellow, and red, the north lights struck in bars. And this is what the music meant, the cold, the hunger, the stars. Oh, not the hunger of the belly kind that's banished with bacon and beans, but the non-hunger of lonely men for a home and all that it means. A fireside far from the cares that are four walls in the roof above, and also cozy with comfort and joy, and crowned with a woman's love, a woman more dear than all the world, and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge, the lady that's known as Lou. Then the music got soft that you could scarcely hear. Suddenly you felt that your life had been looted clean of everything it once held dear. That someone had stolen the woman you loved and her love was but a devil's lie. And there was nothing left for you to do except crawl somewhere and die. It was a desperate call of a broken heart and it burned you through and through. I guess I'll make it spread misery, said dangerous Dan McGrew. And then the music got loud and then it burst like a pent-up flood. And it seemed to say, repay, repay, and my eyes went blind with blood. The thought of an ancient wrong came back, and it stung like a frozen lash. It awoke the lust to kill, to kill. And then the music stopped with a crash. And the stranger turned, and his eyes they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt all glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. And then his face went in sort of kind of a grin, and his voice went soft and calm. And boy, says he, you don't know me, and none of you give a damn, but I'd like to state, and my words are state, straight, and I bet my poke they're true, that one of you is a hound from hell, and that one's Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head and the lights went out. Bang! Bang! Two guns blazed in the dark. A woman screamed, and the lights went up. And two men lay stiff and stark. And there, tossed on his head and pumped full of lead, was dangerous Dan McGrew. And clutched to the breast of the man from the creeks was a lady that's known as Lou. Now, these are the facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and I'm not denying it so. But I ain't as wise as them lawyer guys, but just between me and you, the lady who kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou. <laughs> Buffalo.